Oh, what's up, slut nuggets? Let's just shout 9002 with another rant full of batshit crazy fuckery, whether you like it or not. Okay, today I want to talk about something that's been sweeping the nation's headlines for the past couple weeks. Or past week, I'm not sure. Um, I want to offer my... I want to offer my opinion on the gay teen that offed himself due to cyberbullying and I'm just gonna share what I think about cyberbullying itself. Okay, so from what I've heard thus far, um, this guy offed himself because somebody took a picture of him kissing another guy or something and that and then the hate comments started coming in, started coming in like a tidal wave, and that must have pushed him over the edge. I mean, that's what I got off of it. I, that's what I got off of it. That's what I'm going by so far. And with that out the way, I just want to share my humble opinion on cyberbullying itself. Cyberbullying is the bitchiest bitch move since bitch moves came to bitch move town. If you don't get that reference, then you might want to look it up. Anyway, it's just, it's just, just like regular bullying is a bitch move, cyberbullying is even bitchier move because you're not doing it to their face. If you're gonna call somebody out, if you're gonna use derogatory terms or something, at least have the balls to say it to, to say it to that person's face. Come on. And just like and just like Mark and just like Muse said in his video, bullying's been around forever. It's not gonna go away. The only thing that's gonna make a difference is how you deal with it. If somebody's giving you hell on the top, on YouTube or anywhere on the internet for that matter, just report that person or block them. You know, you have that right. I mean, me personally, I know I said a few videos ago that blocking is a, that false flagging and blo blocking is a bitch move, but there's also some incidents where you know. It just gets out of control and you have no choice but to flag or block that person's video. I can understand that. I can understand that much. I mean, and I know that, and while I am aware that suicide is a very serious issue, it's also, as, um, and I'm quoting my mother on this, it's a long-term solution to a short-term problem. And besides, if you take your own life, all you're doing is just giving your bully the reaction they want. They want you to fail. They want you to fuck up. They want your life to be a living hell because they've got shit going. Chances are, they've got a fuckload of shit going on with their lives, and they don't. And for them, it's like if you're miserable, then everybody's gotta be. Then everyone else around you's gotta be miserable. And that is just some punk ass bullshit, bitch move stuff. I mean, it's like, in the past eight, month, eight months or so that I've been vlogging, I have, I have received a fuckload of insults from a fuckload of fucktards who obviously, judging by the way they type, didn't graduate high school or hell, they don't even have a GED. You know, and it's like they see somebody who's got an, who's got ambitions, who wants to make a better life for themselves, and they just want to spread their hate or whatever. You know, it's just it's just like the walk a flock of flame videos I made. You know how many. You know, every, you know, every fantard and their mom came at me just because I insulted their soon-to-be non-irrelevant piece of crapper. 
that's what he is, a crapper? It's like, I got the same, you're a fat bitch, you're hating, you're this, you're that, yada yada yada. And it just, it was just so full, gosh. It's funny, but at the same time, it's sad because they were defending a guy who could give two shits less about them. Anyway. Anywho. It's just... Same thing with the Nicki Minaj videos. Or as I like to call them, Nicki Minaj Gate. Because let me tell you. If I had a dollar for every Nicki Minaj fan that hates my guts because of those videos I made, let me tell you, I wouldn't be in college. It's just... <sighs> and again, it's sad because these people are taking somebody's opinion as fact when it's not supposed to be taken as fact. But back on topic of cyberbullying. Like I said, cyber bullies are nothing but bitch ass cowards who probably aren't gonna be shit. They're probably not gonna do shit with their lives, so they gotta attack people that are doing shit with their lives. You know? And it's sick. It's been around forever, but it's still sick. And anyway, for those of you people. Anyway, for those of you people who are having issues with cyber bullies or whatever, just fuck them. Fuck the people. Just tell them if you see them in real life, just say fuck you and yours. I mean, and bleh, I'm stuttering like a motherfucker. God, I gotta work on this. It's like, if they're too immature to get past whatever issues they've got, that's their fault. Just focus on you, just focus on you, focus on yourself, and focus on bettering yourself and not conforming to their ideal, and they're conforming to their ideals, you know. That's about all I have to say. Till next time, bitches, I am Lissa Shell, and I'll see you in hell. Peace, motherfuckers.